This surveillance video has been one of the most viewed videos on News4Jax.com since we posted it yesterday. It shows the moments before a military veteran was beaten up outside an American Legion post on Fort Caroline Road last month. The owners of Wing Depot are facing felony charges in the beating, and they're now out of jail after posting bond. Channel 4's Chris Parento spoke to a witness today who's giving us new details. Chris? Tom, witnesses have actually written statements to the American Legion about that night that the beating happened. And yesterday we showed you that surveillance video from inside of the American Legion. And the witnesses that I talked to today have said that it's what happened outside where the cameras didn't catch in the parking lot that was frightening. In the video, you can see Charles Hughes and others throwing coasters towards the bartender and in the direction of William and Terry Lodge, who are sitting out of this camera's view. The two men appear to be yelling at each other before Hughes gets up to leave. One witness inside the Legion that night wrote in a statement to the Legion board members and the commander of the post dated May 31st, quote, he threw his hands up and said he was not going to argue with them and he was going home. That's when you see Hughes hug two women near the door and walk out. Lodge follows shortly after. Three others from inside the post go outside after them. Legion member Bill Johnson was one of the men who went outside to make sure that things were okay, but they weren't. Basically, what was in my mind was try to break everything up and get any care for the person that, that was, you know, was getting whooped on like that. Johnson's wife, who's an RN, tried to help Hughes in the parking lot until rescuers arrived. She said in a statement written June 1st, quote, I applied pressure to the victim's nose and back of the head to stop the flow of blood. With other Legion patrons, we got the victim off the ground and into a chair. Johnson says he isn't surprised with the new felony charges, but says the legal process still has to play out. If that's what the law states for this type of crime, then that's that's what they you know what the judge should take. You know, it's up to the judge and maybe a jury to decide whether they're guilty or not. It's not up to me or anybody else, really. I tried to get comment from William and Terry Lodge today, but Mr. Lodge hung up on me when I called him. I also spoke by phone to Mr. Hughes's son. He says that at this point, neither he nor his father wished to comment. Live downtown, I'm Chris Parento, Channel 4, The Local Station.